Hello all, this is 100 bitscom and you are going to watch the continuation of last video where we have explored the Java Lambda expression. In the last video we have uh, we have gone through the what is Java Lambda expressions and its syntax, how, how it is different from the an, uh, anonymous class. And also we have seen a demo where how to write the Java expressions in a different ways like with, without a parameter, with more than one parameters more than one statements and accessing a local variable in this video we will see uh, we will see a debugging session where we can uh, understand the how the control flows when executing a java lambda expression and we will see the how how the lambda expressions can throw an uh, exception or it can be returned as a uh, as a part of a parameter or uh, at the time of overloaded function etc let me try to debug this code okay we will see how this uh, how the control flows so that the, so that you can get a one more clear idea let me put a para debug point in the print panel itself debuggers java application okay now it stopped in the print panel i'm pressing just f5 so it taken me to the print panel uh, uh, print banner function and it again and it again takes back to the lambda expression you see here it, it again come back to the lambda expression now it, 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 it is in the JDK source code it will print now you see here it printed so it, it come after after uh, that means it executed that lambda expression and it is and it came out of the um, that function now now see for the square it so here also same square it it, it come to the square it function now it will again go back there to execute the lambda expression and it go to the JDK source code and now it prints okay so let's similarly for the lambda operation that means like a more than one parameter so more than one parameter I'm pressing F5 so it comes to the lambda expression lambda lambda operation method and it again go back to the uh, to to execute that uh, expression with the parameter so you see the parameter is passed so 10 and 25 is passed now I'm pressing F5 and it is and, it, and the result is came out and get printed okay similarly I'll show this for this more than one statement as well so here this it will go to the lambda operation and it will come to again to execute the code uh, I mean execute the lambda operation here you can see the values are passed okay I'm pressing F6 now right now F6 and it gets returned and it returned now and it returned to this uh, return to the lambda operation and it get printed okay this is questions are uh, executed uh, sorry this is how the lambda expression get executed okay let's get back to this uh, final one that is lambda placement that means like where, wherever the lambda expressions are placed this can be placed in the um, I covered uh, most of the thing this can be lambda expressions can be placed as part of an exception or as a part of a written parameter or initialization or it can be uh, overloaded function so I'll show it in the I'll explain it in the code for for this demo I have defined the three functional interfaces one is for exception test written parameter test and math operations there is a three static methods which take these functions uh, I mean like which take this interface as a parameter and execute the corresponding functions first is an exception throw test that means uh, like uh, in the inside the in the in one of the statement we are trying to throw an exception okay so here this is my parameter uh, parameter and this is my statement where it will throw a statement if uh, I mean where it will throw an exception if the if the parameter passed is a zero okay and it get thrown to the where it get thrown is to the exception test code actually if I don't catch this exception then it will that compilation error will be thrown so you need to catch that uh, ca you need to catch the exception uh, immediately after where the lambda, uh, where the lambda expression is gets called okay and the next is a written parameter test written parameter test is means like uh, uh, I'm returning a lambda expression as a parameter so let, let, let's see this code actually in the get operation I'm returning the lambda expression 
as a parameter actually this is written parameter test is an interface so it's similar to that uh, we have seen in the uh, earlier code like where we are passing the parameter as a formal parameter to another function in this case we are returning that lambda expression as a parameter to an another function okay and the next is an uh, next is an array initialization test initialize an array with a lambda expression so here i have defined a math operations where it takes two parameters and i have defined all the arithmetic operations so and it get initialized over here so when i i can able to execute as a sim, uh, as a normal array uh, something like here like in a for loop operations i'm getting an each operation and i'm calling that operations method actually this operation method is here which is defined in the math operations which will execute the uh, each all the arithmetic expressions i mean like lambda expression which is defined in the operations array uh, one by one next i will explain about overload function test uh, before explaining i have to uh, explain the function definitions so i have defined uh, two functions uh, named same with the same name overload and one is taking exception test another one is taking a return parameter test okay and in overload function we have defined a lambda expression what that means is it takes one parameter and it returns an uh, and returns a value so in this case like you see here exception test and return parameter test is there and these interfaces out of these interfaces return parameter test is the one which takes a parameter and returns a value while exception test it will takes a parameter but it does not return a value so uh, so lambda expression smartly identify that it has to match the return parameter test and it will and it call this overload function we will see it in the output of this once we execute this code and it finally uh, removing the boilerplate code uh, this is one of the feature uh, this is one of the advantage of having a lambda expression so uh, let's uh, i have shown with a uh, general that runnable interface if you want to implement a runnable interface with a minimum anonymous in a, we need an anonymous inner class in J jdk till jdk 1.7 that means like uh, you have to create all this uh, overhead public void and everything you have to create and after that finally you have to call this so this seems to be a uh, it's not a like a a readable uh, readable code uh, but uh, and this can it's not a readable code so uh, with lambda expressions this can be easily written as like a simple function like as it does not take in any parameter okay uh, run, run run method does not take any parameter and we have a statement is it, is it here i mentioned given only one statement and if i if, if i need i can have a multiple statement with curly braces that's it so this will show, this will give a more more uh, more clarity in the like a more readability in the code i have also placed i have placed this code also in the content by start campaign which i placed in the link in a, below this video uh, that's all about the java lambda expressions it is a very important step taken by the java um, uh, to support the functional programming thanks for watching this video